I could see, poor thing. Yeah, you did break your toe. Yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> Oh, barely broken. We are inside because I'm the only one out there, I promise you, wearing a t-shirt. It got cold from out of nowhere <laughs> uh, here at the first annual Pop Billy Music Festival, which is just about to wrap up. Nathan Cern is uh, on stage, but I had to grab a minute with the beautiful, lovely Nora Collins. Thank you. No problem. Uh, get you closer. Okay, you're getting really <laughs> Why don't you uh, both in the shot? Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, it's Nora's father on the back, behind the camera. I want to thank him so much for taking the time and uh, I guess I'll ask you questions from behind there a little bit. And uh, it's very obvious that Nora's father and family supports you and your music. And as I always tell him, your father, you know, it's a very special place in my heart when family support career. So, sir, I'll just say this from now. Thank you very much for thank you, David, for Thanks, being, yeah. you know. Because <laughs> just someone like myself, I mean, it wasn't always that support there. I mean, so, uh, you, I mean, uh, what do you feel? Uh, how do I record this? How long have you been doing this? <laughs> um, well, I started two years ago when I was 14. That's when I wrote my first song. And I recorded a song, original CDs, when I was 14 also with my Which uncle. is impressive. Well, thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. I started to interrupt you, but you were... Oh, you were saying, so you, you record a CD with your uncle. Uh, is your uncle also in the music business? No. Um, well, he went to college as music as his minor, but he... Which uh, college? Uh, Carthage? Carthage in Kenosha. Carthage in Kenosha. Yeah. And um, otherwise, he's just a businessman. And so he helped me record my first CD by Chuck Taylors because he loves music. And so he got the uh, Logic Pro stuff with Mac and um, just helped me out. <laughs> I realized my hat was still on, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, considering it's a Chicago hat, uh, a bunch of us came from Chicago to come out to the Popular Music Festival. I'm very grateful to Chris Jessman and everyone for coming out here, but you are a native of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Where is uh, whereabouts? Um, I'm from Brookfield. Brookfield. Yep. And uh, for well, those like myself who don't know Milwaukee, well, like, how far is that from, say, Milwaukee area? Yeah. We're, about, we're about a half an hour west of here. Okay. Just it's a Brookfield's a suburb of Milwaukee. Got it. Okay. Just directly west. Great. Have you guys natives all your life? I was born in Milwaukee and grew up in Brookfield, where Nora and, and our family live now. Okay. Great. Great. So, uh, Nora, is this uh, music something you've always wanted to do? Is it been a spark in you, or did it just happen one day? And you go, you know what? That sounds cool. I'll try that. Um. Well, I've always loved music, and yeah. my, my dad always played music around the house when I was little. And the first song I sang was um, My Heart Will Go On okay. when I was three years old. And um, then I, I played the violin in third grade. It wasn't very good, so I quit that. And then I wanted to learn guitar when I was in fourth grade. And um, I took lessons, but I hated it. So I, I stopped. And then um, I just had my guitar laying around in my room mm -hmm. um, for many years until the summer I was going into high school. I was really bored, so I picked up my guitar and started, I need four chords, and so I use those four chords to write a song, that's, and that's how I started. Well, someone said all you need is three chords and you got a song, yeah. so there you go, <laughs> you're on your way. Because uh, you are, I mean, you just started recording at 14, you're how old now? 16. That's that's impressive. Thank you so That much. you know, you come this far and you already have a CD out at like 16, so. Thank you. You have one CD, uh, not to hurry you, and like I say, you're in a good path, but do you have any other recordings coming soon, any other works? Yeah, I do. Um, well, this next week, I'll have a single out on iTunes for a song I wrote called Runaway With Me that I recorded in Nashville with Steve Rutledge. And then um, I'll be having a CD of all my second songs coming out around Christmas time. And on that, there's a song called Dimples Filled With Lies that I recorded in Nashville with... Um, oh, uh, what's his name? Late, uh, Lady Antebellum's drummer, Martin McBride. Lee, Lee Turner's studio. Lee Turner's studio with Lady Antebellum's drummer, uh, Keith Urban's guitar player, and he also did backup vocals, and Martin McBride's bass player. Okay. And, and Lee Turner's the um, keyboard keyboardist player. for Darius Rucker, and he's from Wisconsin originally. Yep. 
Is it just the music that got you these huge connections? Uh, Dad, is it the, or do you have a connection to the no, business? No, she can explain. Please. Well, um, when I was 14, I wrote a song called Don't Slow Down. Okay. And so me and my uncle recorded a fun music video for it, and we submitted it to CMT Music City Madness Contest for okay. unsigned singer-songwriters. And through that, I made the top 16, and I got a lot of local support and stuff and I was on the news and things and so the head of the Milwaukee chapter of NSAI, the songwriters group, okay. came to Pat Bellies where I play and um, found me and talked to me about music and stuff and I joined NSAI, I'm now a card carrying member and um, she I'm just <laughs> wanted to help me and so she offered to take me and my dad around Nashville and she just had all these great connections. So. That is pretty pretty good connection. I yeah. wouldn't say great. Well, We're still we still have a ways to go. I would say great. That sounds amazing. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. <laughs> well, uh, only a couple other questions, and then uh, I'm going to put you in the spot. And you'll figure out what that is. And I already had done this to a couple of the other artists. Okay. Um, you're 16 and already making it and everything with that. Uh, someone like yourself who's 16 and wants to make it. And this also a female singer songwriter. Do you have any advice for anybody who may be younger in your shoes, per se, who want to do what you're doing? I'd say just get out there and play wherever you can. Um, Popular is a great place, but now you can't play there till you're 18. So. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, but I'm grandfathered in, so I get to stay, which is cool. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. Okay, but uh, I mean, there's, there's always open mics. There's always so yeah, you, open you're saying. Mics. Every opportunity, just perform. Yeah, school, musicals, you know, school. Well, that was your story. Talent shows, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Um, what I did with all the other artists, and when I do this with uh, Nathan and uh, Texas Dave, any questions for me? Anything to ask me about uh, music? Sure. Yeah. Um, how old are you when you wrote your first song, and what's it called? <laughs> that's, that's a good question. <laughs> Well, funny you ask, because it's actually on my first Just Look Into My Eyes. The first song I, the first successful con song I ever wrote, it's called N Neon Lights at first, and then it changed into These Neon Lights. I was uh, your age when I wrote it, which I am much older than that now. Um, <laughs> so my first band called Comatose, uh, and what happened was, is uh, I was not the lead singer. I was just a guitarist, and they threw me and go, we need lead guitar. I'm like, I just strum chords, okay? <laughs> And uh, so the drummer actually goes, here's this riff, can you see what you can do with this? I'm like, okay. So, something about lyrical challenge and the lead vocalist is like, are you challenging me to lyrical challenge? Because I'm challenging you. I'm like, shut up. Now the tape recorder was running. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm playing this and all the words I sang were the song. So it came from out of nowhere and the, the vocalist was impressed. I'm like, wow, I just wrote a song. I get, yeah, it's, so that, that's a great feeling, so stem from that, and uh, it took me a lot longer to record a CD, I didn't have said connections, it was a bit harder, which I'm grateful for, but uh, a couple years later, a couple albums later, and uh, now an EP from Sun Studios, and we'll see what happens. Um, but, you know, uh, thank you so much for taking the time, and I am thoroughly impressed with you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to swap CDs, I'll get her autograph so I knew her when and all that. <laughs> um, so... Speaking of which, if someone wants to find you on the internet, where would they go? NoraCollins.com. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much, Nora. Thank you so much. Oh, Pleasure thank you. you. <laughs> All right. Thank and, you so you're, and you're on YouTube, too. And I'm on YouTube. <laughs> and you'll be on writingtherails.com. Tell your friends. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thanks All right. for having me.